Hi, today this is a new question. To determine the magnitude and the direction of the resultant forces, these two forces is uh, hanging with this handle. So today we will be find the resultant force and also find the resultant force angle where the resultant force will be from the zero point. So uh, we already uh, solved some question before this question on uh, cosine formula. So find the resultant force. Today we will find the resultant force and also the angle. So the same if we solve this one, uh, the resultant forces by cosine formula is very easy. Same like uh, the previous question, make a parallelogram. Here is 45 angle. So uh, the right side, third angle. So here will be 60. Here is 60. So here will be 60 because this is the inverse angle. So 60 plus 45 equal to 105 180 minus 105 equal to 75 so here the middle angles have to be 75 here 75 so the other side also will be 75 so you can solve this one is also by cosine formula so fr equal to oh, the one force f1 is 400 square plus the second one is 600 square so minus 2 AB mean 400 multiplied by 600 and also multiply by cos, cos theta. So theta here is, uh, as I said, the inverse, the opposite angle is theta. So FR this one, so the opposite angle here is 75. So cos theta means here is 75. You can solve this one uh, yourself. I don't want to waste time. So here will be uh, 629. I already solved this one. So this is Newton on cosine formula. So here, this question we will be solved on uh, equilibrium rules uh, f of x equal to 0, f, uh, f of y equal to 0. Also, here is a momentum equal to 0, but this question there is no momentum. So you will solve uh, and these two formulas f of x and f of y so let's solve by f of x there is two forces but if two forces are so inclined so uh, the one force is also two components this force let's see this one this one is 400 okay so here is the one component y the one component x so the x will be uh, cos and the y will be sign but here is the angle from the y-axis so here the y is cos and the x is sign so as i can write here for the f2 this okay no problem is f1 or f2 so 400 multiply by for f of x is sine 45 and also the second one forces also have here is you can see this is y and this is x okay the x will be here is the angle from x axis so x will be cos 30 and the y will be sine 30 okay so uh, i can write here is the first one is going out to the what side because i said this one which axis the f of x going right side this will be positive so this one is going negative because this uh, left side and the other one is positive so here is 600 and cos that equal to 0 so here is 236 okay newton so the other one f of y force going up this will be positive so here is 400 cos 45 plus 600 sin 30 equal to 0 this one will be opposite from the uh, upward side because and this these two forces going upward so uh, the two one is positive this one is also positive the second one is also positive so here is 5 8 2 newton okay so you can find here the fr how to find a part so uh, 236 square plus 582 square and the root so the same value will be here 629 
So means these questions you can solve by two methods, also by uh, equilibrium and also by cosine formula. Now the main thing is here is about the look at the questions it's direction. So we'll, where will be the uh, resultant force angle mean? So here is simple formula theta equal to tangent inverse of y by x. So here I saw the y is 5, a 2 divided by the x is the x is what 236. So here the simple formula is 67.90. You can check this as your result uh, and your calculator and I write the simple because I don't want to test waste time and see you next video.